but today I have something special to share with everybody. And some of you probably already know what I have here. And some of you have probably never seen this thing before. So what is this? Is it a special type of turtle? No, it's not. So this is a fruit called durian. And right now you are looking at the outer shell of the fruit. And this is actually only 25% of the whole thing. The whole thing is a lot bigger than my head. This fruit was probably two or three times bigger than my head. Um, but now it's been cut. And you can see I have two pieces here. So this is the outside. It's really sharp. Um, I can actually cut my hand if I touch it too hard. If I'm not careful, it can poke me and it will hurt because it's sharp or we could say it's spiky. These, these little shapes, these are called spikes. So it's sharp or it's spiky or these spikes are very sharp. And it's hard, it's really hard. So this is the outer shell of the durian. The inside of the fruit, or we can say the flesh of the fruit. This is the inside of the fruit. You can see that the flesh is yellow. It's also really soft. I'll show you. And break off a little piece. So it's very, very soft and creamy. But what's really interesting about durian is that the smell is very strong. So durian is very popular in Thailand. It's also popular in other parts of Southeast Asia. I'm not sure about the rest of the world. But it's famous because, well, first, many people think it's delicious, but the really interesting thing about it, one of the reasons that it's famous is that it smells really strong. Right now, I'm at home. If someone is outside in the hallway, they might not hear me talking right now, but I guarantee that they can smell this durian because this smells really strong. And it doesn't smell strong in a good way. It doesn't smell like roses. It doesn't smell like perfume. It smells kind of like gas or cheese or a dead animal. Right now, I'm here and it's okay because I know that it's durian. But if I don't know that there is durian somewhere and I smell it, I'm going to think, what is that smell? Did something die? Is there a dead animal in my room? But if someone says, oh, no, 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 I, I just have some durian, I will, oh, okay, and it's fine. If I know what it is, the smell does not bother me. But if I don't know what it is, it smells disgusting. Kind of like cheese. If you like cheese and you go to a restaurant and you see some cheese that you like and you smell it, mm, that smells delicious. But if you go to your friend's house and your friend's bedroom smells like cheese, but you don't see any cheese, that's a bad smell. But if you know what it is, it smells good. If you don't know what it is, it smells quite bad. In my opinion, some people don't mind the smell, but everyone agrees that the smell is very strong. In fact, many hotels and taxis have signs that say, no durian. The subway in Bangkok, Thailand does not allow you to take durian onto the train because the smell is so strong it will disturb other people. 
So yeah, this is durian. The outside is hard, it's spiky, it's sharp, it's dangerous. And the inside is soft, yellow, and creamy. Um, how does it taste? Let's break off a piece. Oop. I don't want too much because I don't really like it. So you can see it's very soft. How does it taste? I don't know how it tastes. It's, it's sweet. It's creamy. But it's kind of bad in a good way. I don't know. There's, there's no way that I can really describe it. It's sweet, it's creamy, and it's a little bit bad, but it's good. So yeah, this is durian. Not my favorite fruit, but many people really like it. In fact, it's quite expensive. This, um, this whole fruit, which again was quite big, cost about $30. I don't usually spend $30 on a fruit. That's pretty expensive. And actually, I, I didn't buy this. Um, someone gave this to me. So yeah, um, durian's expensive. It's smelly. It's creamy. The outside's hard. It's durian. It's also called the king of fruit.